gonna be doing some bushings on this 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We've already done the upper control arms. You can check out the video on that down below. And we're also gonna be doing the hubs on this. Will be the next video. But as for this one, we are gonna be doing the control arm bushings for the upper control arms. So I'll take you all over here and show you what they're all about. Okay, let me show you what we're after coming in under this uh, Grand Cherokee here. So this is one of them. This is the passenger side. And uh, take you down here a little bit. I'll show you what's wrong with it. Can you kind of see how cracked that is? That's part of our problem. And then over here on the other side, you can see that one there. That's, uh, that's our problem. Oh, here's the other side. That's what we're after. All right, let me show you what tool we're going to be using. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. It's about 79 bucks, and it has all the hardware in it that you need to remove the bushing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and show you how to do that. All right, so this is what I did. I uh, I set up this puller and uh, got a bracket on that side, and then I used a socket on this other side. So you can see that. That's kind of the way it's set up. And then I'm just gonna hit it with the impact, loosen it up. I'm gonna grab my Sawzall and I'm just gonna kinda cut through that. And that should be enough. Get in here with the air hammer. I'm gonna hit it just a little more. All right, so this is our uh, bushing that we're putting in. I actually had to replace the, or the purchase different set. Uh, the ones I purchased when I first started actually were for a Grand Cherokee, and I'll put a link down below. But this is what we're trying to get out. So it's got a metal case, and what I just did is I drove out the other one, just basically destroyed it getting it out. And then what I did from here is I grabbed a Sawzall. You guys are familiar with that? And then I just cut it, okay? Just cut that uh, metal plate. Then I took my air hammer and just kind of got in here and hit it with the air hammer and just kind of broke it loose. Let's show you here. So now I'll just push right out. There you go. Okay, so let me show you the new one here. This is the new one. This is what it looks like. This actually is for a Cherokee not a Grand Cherokee so if you have problems trying to find one the first set that I bought uh, for Grand Cherokee actually was set up for the rear and then here's the old one that I cut out you kind of see how I just cut it with the Sawzall and that's the tool that I used to cut it out and then I just hit it right out I got you hit it with my air hammer and it just it just fell right out so I'm just gonna match them up make sure that they're the same and looks like they are and I go ahead and install them back in all right, so my next steps, I'm just gonna take a file. Just kind of break down the burrs. This so it'll go in nice and flat. Then I'm gonna take this and get it lined up. And then I'll use that tool to pull it back in, back through. Okay. So I got all the bushings in. Uh, sorry, kind of spared you the expense of installing them. Uh, we got both of them in. That one over there as well. And we're also replacing the upper control arms. Got another video on that. This is the tool that you're going to need to remove those um, upper ball joints. Not ball joints, but the upper bushings. 
So anyway, hopefully you guys like the video. Got a couple more. We're going to be doing hubs on this as well. So please rate, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you think. And we'll see you on the next video.